We're going to do two routes today. I uh, apologize, I was going to be on earlier, but uh, things didn't quite work out the way I had hoped it would uh, this morning. But anyway, so we're going to do, we're going up to uh, Oakfield subdivision and we're going to drive the GP38-2. Yep. Uh, but we're going to get some weather in here. So we're going to go ahead and make this a... Um, Go ahead and go with uh, a winter blizzard. We will <clears throat> go with service. Let's see if we have an afternoon service close to our time here. an afternoon yeah later afternoon one. there we go we'll go with uh this one going to uh alter shot from oakville should be a fairly <clears throat> quick service nothing too complicated so as soon as we get in there we'll get uh get going on that Everybody's having a good Sunday afternoon. And after this, we're going to go over to the uh, Munich to Augsburg route and do an S-Bahn service. Uh, that shouldn't take very long. And then we'll be back later this evening to do another double route. Do a couple different things and uh, well, that'll wrap up our Sunday. Just waiting to load in. Seems it's a bit slow. All right, there we go. We're finally in. We're gonna get the uh, cab set up. Still, we'll get those opened. See outside there. All right, we are all set to go. We're gonna get a little horn action there. Get the bell going. GP38 and a, a 9RM. I'm going to take this uh, down to the Aldershot yard. This yard at the right. Down here. That will 
need that service. We're moving. Any issues going going down there to Aldershot? We're going to go through a couple of stations here. Uh, there isn't technically any. Uh, well, there's there's no passenger service on this route. Uh, I have done a created scenario and took a passenger service on here, but there's no like passenger animation sort of thing. So it's uh, a bit. Uh, So we can look out the back there, but we'll keep this open so we can look outside. But yeah, there there's passenger stations here, but there's not passenger service in this uh, on this route. So, uh, but yeah, the the stations look pretty uh, pretty good. Otherwise, we'll pass through a couple of those and then uh, we'll end up in Aldershot. So, thank you for my one viewer who's come in already. Appreciate that. about that. Okay, sorry about that. Seems like there's a little hiccup there with the, uh, the stream. Anyway, we're back on our way here now. So the cool thing about uh, with the with the weather, it provides a bit of a challenge in that uh, if you throttle too quickly, especially when you're hauling uh, the, uh, the uh, freight like that, the wheels can slip. So the, in this uh, version of Train Symbol 2, that they, or Train Symbol, I should say, for this one, they did add what they call a, adhesion. So what happens if you uh, try to go too hard on the throttle on an icy track, uh, the wheels will spin and you won't go anywhere very quickly. Uh, so, you can drop sand, there's a sand I think I saw it here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we can sand the track if we need to, uh, but it's not required. Well, it is required if, if you're going, if you get a lot of wheels left, uh, it helps. Uh, also, if you stop, uh, the train could slide for a bit of a distance. So that's something to watch out for, obviously, if we're 
close to a uh, red light. We don't want to go sliding through that light. So it does add a bit of uh, this tension to the, uh, to the route. But we're not in any hurry uh, to, to get to the destination because we're not, it's not like we're worried about passenger service uh, coming up behind us and, and we're messing with their, their time. subdivision. This is a, a nice route for uh, freight. Uh, you know, Sand Patch Grade is obviously longer. It takes about two hours to complete the freight service there. Uh, but this one, you can get everything done in about 20 to 30 minutes, give or take. Uh, you can do some switching. Uh, so there's, there's lots of things to do here, but it doesn't take a very long time. Whereas uh, a route like um, Sand Patch Grade is uh, at least a two-hour excursion. <laughs> so uh, we'll do that one day eventually. We'll take that train uh, over the over the grade. But that will be a, a long, very long stream. So we'll, get, we'll do that one of these days. It's very nice scenery there. Uh, here it's a bit of industrial. Uh, the, I think it's Lake Ontario, or one of the lakes is, you know, if the weather wasn't like this in the game, you could see the lake over here to the left. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, something else, but, uh, yeah, it's, there's not a whole lot of scenery here. I mean, it's, it's a tree, it's not, there's a lot of industrial area. Uh, there is some, like, oil uh, facilities where you fill up oil to This is a nice, relaxing little route. Uh, the two locomotives that come with them are, are pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy on it. The S-Bahn service, that shouldn't take very long either. That set up. We'll just go right from, from here to there. I'll uh, just go to the menu and pick that. Um, I was thinking maybe this evening I'll do a, uh, a, a high speed service uh, on the Munich to Augsburg route. It's a, it's a pretty neat little uh, route to do with the ice train. Finish up with uh, another uh, freight service or something. Nice stuff. I guess it preferred to be out of the, out of the weather. The, the Bronte station. So let's pass through and then our, our next go through location is going to be Appleby.
that holder shut. So this locomotive is the same uh, that can be run, uh, although it's in Union Pacific colors. The one up in on the uh, Peninsula Corridor that uh, is in Union Pacific livery is this, this is essentially the same locomotive. locomotives for freight yards. Now this uh, route uh, does kind of simulate they have the um, car haulers. I don't think we have any of those with us. Um, no, it doesn't look like we do. But there are, there's like these really tall uh, car haulers uh, that sometimes you take them from a southern area here. This uh, yard is down here up to uh, up to the uh, top of the map here. Uh, I think this is uh, part of the Ford factory shipping area sort of thing. Uh, for Ford's plant up in Canada. And if I'm not mistaken, this route does go into uh, America from, from here. It goes into New York. SX obviously is the route that the uh, uh, sand patch grade is a CSX route. And here where I live, we have the downtown area. There's a uh, small uh, Norfolk Southern yard in the area, and there's a Susquehanna Valley locomotives park there. I don't know that it runs any services, but uh, we, we do have some Norfolk Southern uh, traffic that comes through here on a uh, regular basis. Unfortunately, we don't have a train station. Uh, I thought we would. I think we downtown we used to have a uh, there's the the rail uh, passenger terminal uh, sort of thing. But uh, we've not had passenger service here probably for quite some time. Red, good thing. Red went to yellow and then green, so we're, we're still good. Uh, 11 kilometers to the Aldershot Yard. So, red, yep, right there. There is a station in that that we'll be kind of going next to once we go into the yard. And then we'll basically creep into the, uh, there's a, I think a 25 mile an hour speed limit but it'll tell us how fast to go in kilometers. Uh, so we have to go all the way down here to this point there to stop. Um, we go to another surface going north. We'll just go ahead and let it coast on in. There's no, we're kind of going on two tenths of a percent downgrade, going downhill a little bit, so we're not we won't need to put the throttle on. Uh, but we will slow down uh, once we get closer to that switch. Go into the yard. Uh, we don't uh, go too fast over that, that switch. And 
maybe accidentally cause a derailment. Don't want to do that. So, so all the switches are pretty much set up for us already. So we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll slow down as we get ready to go to that switch there. Go off to the side. And that'll be it for this little excursion. Go to Germany. Turn on the uh... oh, I guess we're not going to have to worry about any alerts or anything. So I turned it on and never got, I haven't had any. Uh, Worse to have to acknowledge her. So, oh well. So, here's your uh, break information. Your air reservoirs, these are all air brakes. Yep. So you can switch it uh, depending on how many local motors you run. If you're in the lead or whatever, uh, sometimes you have to make sure those are all set correct. Otherwise, you'll get you'll start going and then the it'll slow down immediately. So there's particles in industrial areas and offices. And shortly but we're not it's not marked for us as a via route but yeah if you start off down here in the Hamilton yard and go north you'll you'll get a several different uh, routes to uh, or different via locations that you'll have to go through on your way to uh, Oakville Some of the areas, uh, especially down uh, down here, there's uh, tank filling facilities in these parts uh, over here as well. Uh, and also here, yep, right there. Uh, so it's it's not a huge map. It looks like it is, but it's not. Manageable uh, thing to do. All right, so yeah, there we go. At, at uh, just under four kilometers, we're going to slow down to 24 kph. That should be the uh, roundabout when we get ready to enter into the uh, Aldershot yard for our little slow journey to the to the stopping point. And I believe again that one does have a red. Although the red, I think, is a little bit farther from where this is. So if we go past it a little bit, I'm not too worried about the uh, about uh, having any issues with that. I don't think we'll run the risk of running a red light, not like yesterday when we were doing the uh, Strucker Ryan the 155, and I didn't <laughs> acknowledge the, uh, the signal. Thing we drop my speed down in time, so but old PZB had its had its fits, and but uh, we got through it the second time, so shouldn't be any issues here. Though I'm gonna go ahead and bleed off some of the speed a little bit. Doesn't take much; just did the initial reduction, and already it's kind of just leading off that speed at a fairly quick pace, so we're going to release that. Yeah, we just went through one of the uh, stations there. 
It is a fairly long train. Uh, but unless you're like on a steep grade, it, it's not very difficult to get the uh, get the train running. Maybe initially, because sometimes it takes a, a bit of time to, for the uh, all the brakes to bleed out. No release, I should say. Doesn't seem like anybody's out driving today. So there's a bit of a side yard there. Nothing to worry about. So yeah, we're going up a uh, grade there, so the speed will kind of bleed off on its own a little bit there. Uh, certainly it would be quicker if we were going up maybe a half percent or 1.2 percent grade. But uh, go ahead and lead off a little bit more speed so that when we get, get in here we're not going to be over the limit or anything. It should, should kind of bleed off on its own here for the rest of the... Yep, oh, it's already below the large gauge. Look at you get the snow that's on the locomotive here, ice on the windows and everything. Wake up the neighbors. <laughs> Split off just a bit too much speed. That's okay. Easily. Yeah, we got a bit of a blustery wind there. So often we can blow up the snow. to our destination. Three kilometers to our stopping point. Nice relaxing way to start the uh, stream, I think, for this afternoon. Not under any pressure for uh, time, being there on time or anything. We'll see how well we can do the uh, S-Bahn service and how we stay on time for that. 
more. Go on that one in the rain. Just to make things a little bit interesting. We'll do that in the daytime. We'll put on the uh, PZB and see if uh, have some fun with that. percent upgrade so I'm sure it didn't take long for that more speed to beat off there all right here we go we're getting our cross here so we were in that middle run there and now we've crossed team over and then we'll be another switch here and we'll be in the yard. So there's the next one. I venture that's probably a pretty realistic standard that you don't go too fast over those switches on a cause of derailment so you don't go fast. Eventually, this will flatten out a little bit. It'll kind of go slight downhill. Feathering the throttle here for a bit until we get to our uh, pistol investigation. Try to keep it under the speed limit. Maximize our points. kilometers down the track, I'd be a bit surprised if we did. So, we'll be okay to stop. Right where we're supposed to stop. Alright, now we're on. The yard's flattened out. until we're at our destination. So these towers here are big light towers. I thought they were observation towers, but I was like, we would want to climb all the way to the top of those and sit in an observation thing. But that's what they look like at first, but they're actually the lights on the top there and light up the yard. I'm surprised actually they don't have them on. Yeah, if, if you're running a night service in here and it's dark, those are those are on. So I help light up the yard. It's there. Service. Pass this to the yard. We got a bit of air. 
go ahead and start another reduction of the speed here. Again. The tricky part is we don't want to dump too much speed and then yeah, see now we're already dropping more speed here. Usually there will be a speed limit, you know, you can't, uh, what, what the uh, capabilities of the locomotive are as far as speed goes. that other station I was talking about. Operator there in the other seat. Some of the cool little things that they do in this game. When, they, when it's required, they do have the, the second operator in the other seat there. And I think even on the uh, sand patch parade, some of the locomotives, there's even a, a third seat. like they're going to replace them at some point. All right, so we can start leave, start making out the uh, outline of the uh, overpass there. So we will be at our stop here shortly.
there we are. So we got that one done. And we'll back out and head over to Germany. So Dovetail Games does have uh, this game and some of the routes on sale right now. So if you're thinking about picking it up, you got uh, got some time and you can save some money. So Hopstrecke, Munich to Augsburg is our next route. The BR-423DB is our... So we're going to do some rain. Autumn drizzle. So we'll do this S4 service to Geltendorf at 6.43 in the morning. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of stops to worry about. So we'll do that one. And that'll wrap up our... Uh, stream for the day shouldn't take very long might be a kind of a bit of a early morning sun coming up sort of thing maybe just a bit dark Greatly appreciate the one, my one viewer sticking around. I'm suspecting it's the same viewer that's been viewing my stream so far. So I greatly appreciate that. If you're a new viewer, I greatly appreciate that as well. Hopefully you find this entertaining. All right, let's get the uh, switches on here. So the left doors, passenger lights on. Actually, we'll, we'll get the... Uh, service in there. on too. Alright. Away we 
go. stop is a short distance away there's the CIFA so yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be late on this one <laughs> never fails I don't think I've ever been on time for this first stop on this route. But this time, uh, you'll you'll see the uh, if, whenever we come under control of magnets, you'll see that here at the bottom. KPH marker right in front of us. Get those left doors opened. So here's our first stop along the way. Doors are open. We've got our signage up. A rainy signage air on the front. the brake a bit. Go ahead and get the doors closed because we're already running behind. Alright, there we go. We gotta make sure we acknowledge the KPH sign up here. to the Munich Hirschgarten platform one. That'll go pretty quickly to get there. We have a 90 kph on the other side of that stop. Sometimes there's not much, whatever you do, you're not going to be on time, but that's, you know, that's alright, it's not a end of the world sort of thing, I don't think. Just enjoy it for what it is. The other service is leaving. starting to snow now we had rain and now we're getting snow <laughs> and it doesn't even look like it's cloudy that's the crazy part <laughs> or maybe it is it's hard to tell since it's early in the morning still so that's going to be interesting but we'll get the doors go ahead and get those shut up so we're within the limits of getting those closed and we'll get the 
everybody on that we can. The snow's starting to build up. You can see it here on the side, it looks like. I wasn't expecting that. So we went from snow and then we started with rain and now we're getting snow again. Interesting. So the Munich Lane platform one is our next stop. A short distance from our last stop to this one. It's not our last stop here. Got a few more to go. At least maybe one more after this. That'll wrap up our first of our double header Sunday. Munich Passing is our next, next stop after this. Yep, look, there's the snow already building up. Luckily it hasn't built up on the locomotive or on the cars. So, not that it makes any difference, but... Alright, there's another 9 or 90 kph. We'll go ahead and acknowledge that once we're on our way. Closer to our last stop, that's when we'll start coming under the control of the magnets again. It's a little bit longer uh, between our previous stop and this one. later we go right back down to 90. <laughs> Such is the life of this, this game. You want to get going again and then it, just when you think you can. So there's, I don't really see any point in just being all the way up and down and break again. I mean I could, but
we just came under the control of the 100 or 1000 hertz magnet. If we have a longer distance to go, obviously we would creep in all the way at 15 kph. As long as we keep slowing down, I think we won't get pinged. snow already and the trees are already covered in snow well, this is it. now we're getting a little bit of a dusting on top of the or 423 now the cool thing about the german routes is that you can see this 423 that's the class number and then um the other information on there so and then it's a Eight passenger service. And I think that should be it. Yep, there we go. So that completes that. Oh, we got a silver out of that. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> that's okay. So, all right. Well, that does it for our stream for today. Uh, greatly appreciate you watching, and we'll see you.